impact the Shi in different ways. In one of them, they drift apart and kind of just join the surrounding towns. In another one, one of the experiments they were working on goes bad and they're basically ousted from San Francisco. And then the third one, really the best case scenario, they actually form a new empire. For obvious reasons, Bethesda is not opposed to modifying or changing former lore. We saw that with a lot of the Fallout games from them. Fallout 3 and Fallout 4 modified some of the pre-existing East Coast lore, but this would be kind of a big deal changing some of the West Coast lore because that was really instilled from the earlier Fallouts and has otherwise been largely untouched, but I'll get back to that in a little while. The next major faction would be the NCR. Of course, these guys were major in Fallout New Vegas. You've probably experienced a lot of them. I know a lot of people do love Fallout New Vegas, and they'd largely be the same in a Fallout 5 in San Francisco. More or less, what they do is strive to control and create peace in the land, but one of the interesting parts here is the San Francisco Bay Area is controlled by the Shi. This is actually the last area that the NCR don't control in all of California. There's a pretty obvious reason for a conflict here and a lot of motive for the NCR are to take the position of the Shi, who otherwise really just want to keep to themselves and don't necessarily strive to bother those surrounding them. Then we do have the West Coast Brotherhood of Steel. This is actually the founding area of the Brotherhood of Steel, although due to frequent conflicts with the NCR, they had some wars in the past and really an ongoing war currently, the Brotherhood of Steel's numbers were greatly reduced here. They were reduced to the point where they are now just kind of living in a few different bunkers in the region. One of those does actually exist in San Francisco. It's pretty minor in Fallout 2, but it definitely could be flushed out, and if this game did ever come to exist, I definitely think it would be fleshed out. Bethesda loves the Brotherhood of Steel, the community loves the Brotherhood of Steel, I would be really surprised if they didn't appear in future fallouts. But again, it's really important to emphasize, at least with the existing lore, the Brotherhood of Steel there is a pretty minor faction. They're not as large and powerful as they do appear in Fallout 3, New Vegas, or Fallout 4. Of course, Bethesda could just say time has passed, things are changed, and the Brotherhood of Steel still is all powerful. But again, at least as it exists right now, that is not the case. So these three factions actually create a pretty interesting kind of trend triangle of conflict. The NCR wants the Shi land. The NCR is already at war with the Brotherhood, so those are those two conflicts. But then the Brotherhood and the Shi do kind of have opposing values. A lot of the Shi's technologies are inclusive and really not the best for society and go against some of the Brotherhood ideals that have been established in some of the former Fallouts. We'd have a similar situation to the kind of triangle conflict that did appear in Fallout 4 if these three factions did come to exist again. There's also some minor factions. The Habologist is one of the kind of major ones, the major minor faction, if you will. There's Spoof of the Scientologists, and more or less they're kind of a cultish-like faction that is trying to steal tech from the Shi during the main opposition to the Shi in Fallout 2, but I think if this game came to exist, they would definitely introduce some further and new factions, probably as they modify some of the lore a bit. So that's the concept, that's the landscape we would see. I personally think it would be pretty interesting. I think California and San Francisco especially would have a pretty big pull. Fallout has gotten to the point where the location plays a pretty pertinent role to the rest of the game, and I definitely think the next Fallout is going to take place in a major location like San Francisco, New York. York, Los Angeles. I think that'd be a great way for Bethesda to really advertise this and make it appeal to even some further people than Fallout 4 did. But there's also some issues with this theory. It's all going off that plausibility that Fallout 3 teased Fallout 4 and then Fallout 4 will tease Fallout 5. Obviously, there's only one confirmed instance of this, and you could even just say it's due to circumstance. It's a coincidence that Fallout 3 had mentions of the Commonwealth. It's not like Fallout New Vegas was teased in any way. Granted, that was by a different company and a different developer. But even further, a lot of people argue that these mentions of San Francisco could just be be a nod to the older fans of Fallout. Fallout 2 and everything before that really established the West Coast lore. Outside of Fallout New Vegas, Bethesda has never touched this. Technically, even in Fallout New Vegas, they didn't. They contracted that game, but they didn't actually develop it. Although the East Coast has really served as their play box and they have modified a lot of the lore there, the West Coast has been largely untouched and whether or not they'll actually make that jump is definitely up to argument. Even further, Fallout New Vegas itself had four individual endings. Obviously, it's still pretty far from San Francisco, but the ending of Fallout New Vegas, depending on which one is canon would have a pretty large impact on surrounding